Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RTA out of Turkey and it's called the Spica, Spica, Spica Pro. Now there was a non-pro version of this out already but uh, the pro version is slightly different. This will be about 111 euros and you'll be able to buy it direct from their website. The link is in the description and I think it is going to be released on the 30th of this month. As always, we'll get into the technical specif specific th specifications as we go along, but I just want to make clear at the start, this RTA, mouth to lung. I'm not talking modern mouth to lung or just a loose direct lung. This is true, true mouth to lung and it is a very enjoyable vape. Close ups. Now this is the box that my one came in and I'm pretty sure that this is as close to retail as it will get. Uh, the only difference that there will be with the actual mod is that there will be a 2mm reducer inside the tank that you will be able to remove. On the back we have a list of the materials that are used and everything that comes in the box. And just in case it wasn't clear, yes, it comes from Turkey. Or is it that way? I, I, no, it's that way. I'm sure it is. Well, it comes from Turkey. Now before we get going we'll just cover what's in the box. So we've got three, there's one, two and there's one inside here but there's three little airflow reducers. We'll call them that or according to the manual they're leaved or leafed, leaved 510 air pins. I think that's the proper name for them but there are three in total. We have the this tool here which is the, the chack and that's the chimney height adjustment key and you can also use this as a coil building rod as well. In the box it comes fitted with a, a glass tank, that's I think it's Scott glass it's called, and this holds three millimeters. Uh, with, if it comes with a reducer it will only be two mil, but once again you will be able to remove that reducer. We also have a polycarb tank and that will give you a capacity of four mil. This little baggie in here has O-rings, a spare peak insulator and some terminal screws. So here we are. Now this is 304 stainless steel. It's a diameter of 22 millimeters. The length without the drip tip is 47 millimeters and the length with the drip tip is 64.6 millimeters. So I think what we'll do first is we're just gonna break this down, take it to bits and show you what it's all about. So first thing first, we'll take the deck off. And we'll just unscrew this. Out she comes. We'll pop a build in this in a second, but just to point out that these here, these air pins they're calling them, you can remove them, uh, you can leave your build in place and you can change these air pins out. You will have a serial number on the bottom and you can also see that we have design by Sirius Mods here. We'll take the Ultim drip tip off. I don't know if there'll be other ones, you know, just plain stainless steel ones, but I can't get that bloody thing out for the life of me. So I think that is actually fixed unless somebody tells me different. But once again, I can't get that out of there. But we have two O-rings here and you can see that these little locating nuts here, they actually, or tabs I should say, they fit inside here. And that is what controls, and we should see just here, if I spin this round, sorry, you won't see it unless I put the deck back on, but see here, if I just spin this section here, you see that? That's your juice flow control. So you can adjust that like that. And you actually have three juice flow control holes there. Now, if you wanted to fill it, taking that off, you can just grab the top and if I just spin this, now this is possibly going to be one of my few negatives about this tank, is actually getting this top section off for filling. It's it's not the easiest, and I'm not making a meal of it just for shits and giggles there, but it is a pain in the arse to get off in my opinion. Now, before we go into the next bit, I'll show you this, this little tool here. So that just pulls off like that. Now, you can use this as a coiling rod. They do suggest uh, builds for this, and they're recommending builds or using wire of 26, 27, or 28 gauge. But where this little thing comes into its own is, see this section at the bottom here? You can actually put this down, when this is assembled, you can put it down through the drip tip like that, so inside here, we have our standard chimney, and I showed you the juice flow control in operation. But what you also have is, if I just pop this out, you can take this inner section out. And if we look inside there, what you can do, and this is really clever, using this tool, 
I can raise and lower the inner chamber like this. So you can adjust the vape to, to suit you to a T. You can actually reduce the size of the inner chamber. And once again, you can use this tool when the tank is fully assembled, it will go through the drip tip. But I'll just, what I'll do is we'll pop that out. There we go. So that is actually threaded there. We've got a little O-ring and that sits inside this inner chimney. Now, one thing, and I'll cover this later on, is be careful. Uh, you know, you can unscrew it and it'll, it'll lock off it up at the top, but you can also, you know, you could screw this right down and you could make this unscrew and it could touch your coil and create a short. So be very careful, uh, bear that in mind, but I'll cover it at the end once again. Uh, to change the glass tank out, Oh, what a ball ache. Um, now they do state in the instructions that what you should do is if you're going to change the tank out is put this in a glass of warm water for a few minutes and that will soften the o-rings and then you can you know take the tank off but if you don't soften these o-rings up first you will struggle. I've actually taken this tank off already and I've lubed this up uh, so we'll take that off just now and I'll grab the, the polycarb tank and there it is with the polycarb tank on. Now I'm going to use these coils again. I've mentioned these quite a bit in the past few videos. These are going to be available at Stealth Bait uh, very, very soon. They're made by Mr. David Mottram, uh, but these are just going to be perfect for this. And you can see the spec written down here. But before I throw the coil in, I just want to show you these. These are the, the air pins and you've got three of them. Look at the differences. So it's three, five and seven slots that you have going on there. And these do affect the way that this thing performs. I'll cover that more at the end. Now building on this is, is relatively easy. You can see here we have two wicking holes here and two on the other side. And we have these little Phillips screws and you can see you've got little ledges on both sides of the screw there for trapping the wire underneath. And you can also see that air pin in the middle. And yeah, that's that's a diffused airflow. And once again, it's proper mouth to lung. So even though you've got all these air holes on here, I mean, you can really turn this down and I'll cover it at the end, but once again, true mouth to lung. Now that's a, a 1.22 ohm coil in there and you can just see where that's hitting. So that's two and a half mil inner diameter and she's just sitting there quite the thing. The cotton, uh, I just cut it as usual. I put my scissors right against the edge of the base here and just cut. Same on the other side. Make sure it's kind of fluffed out and then I'm just going to fold the cotton over and put it down into the juice well. And there we go. Now that's not packed in there tight because as always remember cotton will expand once it gets juice in there. So and if you do pack it in too tight then all you do is end up choking it off and you know it will not wick properly. For this one I'm using some of Billy's uh, Vaping King Royal Custard and we'll just pop that on there and as always you know you want to make sure you prime something properly before you start vaping with it. Now before I put my chimney back in, I'm making sure that, you know, just making sure that that little chimney is actually at its highest position before I put it in. Then I'm going to pop this in here, doink, in she goes, and then just screw this on here. Fill the tank up, and this should take 4 mil of juice now. And then we'll screw this one. I should say that, but you know, before you put your juice in, make sure that you've got your juice flow control actually switched off. Screw this down, don't put it down tight. You know, as soon as you feel a kind of resistance, then leave it at that or it'll just be really hard to unscrew it later. Pop my drip tip on and my juice flow control. And then you can see down the bottom here, where are we? There she is. And if I spin this, doink. That's my juice flow control open. Got my airflow fully open. I've changed out my air pin. I've got the, the three slotted version in there just now and we'll pop this in a mod and we'll go for our vape. Now this is actually uh, been completely upfront and no bullshit. It's really well made this. 
uh, everything threads together very very well and I do actually quite like this RTA uh, I'm just going to come straight out with things I don't like at the start and it's, it's very very small uh, the list of things I do not like it is going to be the taking the, the top section off for filling it it's a pain in the arse it just is it's it's it looks good don't get me wrong I mean that that that, that looks nice up the top but see it's actually very very thin that there there's not a lot to grab onto it's, I never put that on tight but it is actually proving to be a bit of a pain to get it off and that is my my major negative that's it that that really is my major negative with it the the other negative I is yeah I do have to mention it as a negative is the adjustment in that inner chamber you know changing the size of the chamber is a fantastic feature it's really really good and it does change the vape a great deal I, I wish there was a locking off point rather than being able to screw that down so what I can do just now is, is just grab the little tool and I can pop it through the drip tip like that and then I can unscrew but just remember grab a hold of the drip tip when you're doing it I can unscrew and take it right back up the top but I can screw it down and keep screwing it down and if I go too far it'll bounce off the coil so you have to be really careful in that one especially if you're using it on a mech but if you screw that down far enough it, it so changes the style of the vape I mean I get a stronger throat hit just with that tiny tiny little chamber I mean that's three milligram and it's but it feels like six because of the size of the chamber I, I it's a good feature it's really smart I mean it doesn't mean that you're you're carrying a tool about with you but but nine out of ten times most people will find how they like it and they'll not bother carrying this about with them but you can pop it on a keychain if you so desire it just pops in like that doink I'm also not I'm I mean it looks okay because I've got custard going on there but the Ultim drip tip yeah everybody's Ultim crazy these days I like Ultim I have Ultim mods uh, but I, I'm not sure if it actually suits the styling of the mod I don't know if it maybe if it had come with an Ultim tank possibly but with the the glass tank and the, the polycarb tank I'm not sold on it now the good stuff as I said built well threading's really good it's got some really nice features on it you've got the adjustable juice flow control which is buttery smooth I mean there is zero issues with that I don't think it looks bad I don't think it looks bad at all it looks quite modern I like that you know we've got the Sirius Mods logo going on here that does look nice as well the airflow control it's nice and smooth you can actually adjust the airflow control even with the tank sitting on a mod it's not like somewhere you have to back it off a turn and then you can adjust the airflow control you know it works screwed down to a mod you do get the the tanks that come with it the two different tanks you do get and I don't know if this is going to be in the box or just available from the website but the manual and the build tutorial that they supplied me in electronic format is superb it really is in fact it's 10 times better than anything you'll see in this review hopefully it'll be on their website but the instructions you get are 10 out of 10 and aside from all that let's get down to the best bit the vape now I'm going to put the, the air hole down to one and remember I have that air pin in there with just the three slots in it I've got a 1.1 ohm coil in there I'm on an unregulated mechanical mod and we'll have a vape mouth to lung all the way pure pure mouth to lung if you're an old fart like me and, and you were vaping back in 2010 11 12 started off there this is mouth to lung even opening up the air holes all of them like this that is yeah it's just a mouth to lung vape it's very very restricted now what I'll do is I'll take the atty off of here and we're going to change out to the, the five slotted pin 
Now, I'm getting slightly, I'm talking slightly more air. Still fully open. And yes, I only have one nostril that works when I exhale through my nose. I now have the seven slotted one in and even more air. But when I say more air, I mean it's a loose-ish mouth to lung, but still proper mouth to lung, but a, a loose one. And that's with the airflow fully open. And once again, I could, you know, take the tool and I could compress the size of the chamber inside and adjust the vape even more that way. But I prefer it to be right up the top. I've, I don't want that harsh, not a harsh hit, but a harder hit. I don't want that from it. I actually am that used to vaping with a, a loose mouth to lung or a restricted direct lung now that I find it with the, just the three slotted pin inside. It's just too restricted for me. But that's... I've got to give it to them. It is just, it's very good this. I, I, I actually do like this RT a lot, not just because of the way it vapes, but because of the way it's actually built as well. It's done very well. You can actually take the deck off. Now, if I close off the juice flow control here just now, and we'll take the deck out, so you can go and work away with that. I can actually hold that like that, and, and, and there's no juice coming out at all. Granted, this is I'm using a heavier VG. This is a 80% VG, this stuff. Uh, but yeah, no juice going anywhere. And it's wicking away like billy uh, It does wick very, very well, this thing. I am going to say as a whole, I'm going to give this, I would love to give this two big thumbs up and a 10 out of 10 because it's almost there. But for me, it's just filling it. It's getting this top cap off here. It's just, it's just a pain. It really is. And sometimes when you go to unscrew it, no, it's just a pain. I have to mention it, I have to say it. As much as I'd love to say it, this is just perfect. It's not, it's bang on almost apart from that, filling it up. I will say, don't, don't take the drip tip off when you're trying to unscrew this. If you don't take the drip tip off, then when you're trying to unscrew it, you'll actually end up opening up the juice flow control at the same time. But uh, yeah, there we go. Almost bang on, almost so close. But even with that negative, um, and, and I will say again, be very, very careful if you buy this and you're adjusting the chamber down that it, you don't screw it down too far and it drops out and it hits the coil. So what I would suggest is take it to bits and raise it right up and then count the number of turns you make to get to the lowest position. I would suggest you do that before you start mucking about with that feature. But I'll stop there. Thank you to Sirius Mods for sending this on. This is a, it's a very good RTA. Very, very good. And it is, in my humble opinion, it's, it's the best mouth to lung RTA I've come across for quite some time. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.